Good afternoon and welcome to the Chamber Matters on Monday and every other day of the week. Some of you are looking at the person on our screen and thinking, hmm, why in the world is Pam going to be interviewing Brandy today? For those of you that don't know, Brandy DeBoard is our Education and Workforce Specialist. And there is a very specific reason why I'm interviewing Brandy today. But Brandy, thank you for being on the Chamber Matters on Monday. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I did ask Brandy as we were getting started, I said, have you ever watched it? And she said, yes, I have. And I was pretty excited because, you know, you never know who actually tunes in and who doesn't. Even though our numbers really throughout the summer have been very strong on the viewership. But as we were talking about what this segment means, the Chamber Matters on Monday, yes, it's been how the Chamber Matters or why does the Chamber matter to our members? But then I said to Brandy, well, what about why the Chamber matters to people based upon programs we have and services that we offer and initiatives that we're a part of? And in Brandy's realm, under her umbrella of education and workforce, is a program called Drugs Don't Work. Ironically, Brandy has worn red and black today. Red and black, I'm a, I'm a dog. I can't help it. So I'm thinking that's for Georgia. Brandy's daughter goes to Cherokee. She's thinking it's for Cherokee High School. But interestingly enough, the colors, whether you realized it or not for what you chose today, the colors are also the Drugs Don't Work program colors. So I'm sure that Brandy did not choose what she wore to work today based upon that. It's just very ironic. But the Drugs Don't Work program has been around as long as I can remember. I mean, years, 20 plus years. But it's what it means to businesses like those that are in and around Cherokee County that I think is a reason to say that the Chamber matters to a variety of companies because of the program. So if I were to ask you the question, why does the Drugs Don't Work program matter to businesses? I think I know what your immediate answer is going to be, but I tell you what I'll do. I'm going to write it down and I'm going to write down what I think you're going to say. And then I got, I messed up on that one. Let me get a, let me get a plain piece of paper. We're going to have an interactive conversation today. Okay, what's your reason? So I think the reason is because you're going to save seven and a half percent on your workers' comp insurance. 7.5 percent discount. So we would have won on some game show, but how can a business save seven and a half percent on their workers' comp? Well, the process is very easy. There's just a few simple steps that you take, and I'm here to help walk a business through it um, every step of the way. Um, it's a few simple steps. You pay a very nominal fee, you get your certificate, you submit it to your insurance company, and you start the savings. You do a monthly training um, that, that fulfills the required training for the state, and it's very simple. So all they need to do is reach out. It doesn't matter for this program if they're a chamber member or what we say is a future member. It's just going to save them some money if they're chamber members. Correct. Okay. So my business is a chamber member company, so it's going to only cost me $2, right, per employee? $2 per employee per year. Okay. Now, what if my business is not a chamber member? It's simply $5 per employee per year. There you go. A little bit of training, keeping that consistent mindset of being a drug-free workplace, and then they're saving money to reinvest in their people, their products, and their services. Exactly. And depending on what company you are, we're talking, this could be thousands of dollars worth of savings. I remember that there was a company, I need to probably go back to them and ask what that latest is, but I remember it being over $150,000. Y'all, that's one five zero comma three zeros. $150,000 that they were saving because you think about what your workers' comp insurance premium is then do the math and save that seven and a half percent. Why would somebody not want to be a part of the program? They could be intimidated, but it's a very simple process and I'm here to help every step of the way. Perfect. So let's take Brandy up on that offer and visit um, with her via phone. She could set up a Zoom call with you face to face. Whatever you need to do to find out about the program, it's so easy that really 
She can probably just email it to you. It's self-explanatory, but definitely we're here to walk through the questions, right? Absolutely. All right. How can they find you? Well, they can call me here at the office, 770-345-0400, or they can email me at brandy at cherokeechamber.com. And that's Brandy with a Y. So make sure that you send it to B-R-A-N-D-Y at cherokeechamber.com, and we'll help you with the rest. So it's, again, it's not just about how the chamber matters from the mindset of one of our member businesses when they share with us how they matter um, or why the chamber matters to them. It's about what we're doing and how we can matter to you. So I hope that you'll check out the Drugs Don't Work program, establish that drug-free workplace. And I know, as I have said to folks before, I hope that the information that people in business employees and supervisors are learning about drug issues and how for those not to become challenges in their lives, that they'll take that information home to their family, to their friends, and that it will come around full circle. And we'll be able not only to establish drug-free workplaces, but our community will be um, more of a drug-free community to live in and raise your families in as well. So Brandy, what you got to think about now is you don't only handle drugs don't work, so we can do this again sometimes about education and workforce and our high school leadership program, our workshops, you name it. Brandy has probably had something to do with it, keeping our data um, updated as far as information on the community. She's a whiz at that. You never know where you're going to see her um, in our office and what she's working on. So I tell you that to say you might see Brandy on the Chamber Matters on Monday another time, but you never know who I'm going to visit with. So it will be a surprise next week as far as who that will be. So be on the lookout for the Chamber Matters on Monday and every other day of the week. I'm Pam Carnes, Chamber President and CEO, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks, Brandy. Absolutely. Thanks, Pam. You're welcome.